Hi, Rose here. It's good to have you back on the channel. And if you're new here, hey, hello, welcome to the School of Mathematics Nigeria. Today we're talking about sorts, but rationalization in sorts. So what do we mean when we're asked to rationalize in sorts? Well, rationalization was gotten from the word rational numbers. Okay, when you're given fractions, you're expected to rationalize them if the denominator is in its irrational form. What do I mean? So given something like this in mathematics, it is believed that this is an irrational form. Okay, we are meant to rationalize it, meaning this should not have the roots anymore. How do we rationalize this? We we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominator. Did you get that? We we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by this denominator. So now we have 1 times root 2 to the root 2. Yeah? And then this times this. So now in mathematics, we know that root times is other root. So long the value in it is the same, what happens? It becomes the square of this, right? Because it appears twice. And then the square cancels the square root. So you are left with just the value in it. So know that whenever you have anything like this in mathematics, when you have the same value with the square root, when you multiply them together, the square cancels the square root. So we are left with just this. So do you see what rationalization does? It changed this value that was given to us initially to this. Do you see? So now we have a rationalized value as the denominator. We have a rational number as the denominator, right? We don't have an irrational root anymore. So that's what rationalization is trying to do. It just needs you to cancel out the irrational denominator and make it rational. So you see where we got rationalization from, right? So while we solve examples, you'll be able to get us. But there is something I need you to know again. There's this important term that needs to be known, which is called the conjugate. The conjugate of a value in mathematics is the opposite. The opposite sign. Okay? So if you are given root A, its conjugate is what? Minus root A. Do you see that? If you are given 3 plus root 2, its conjugate is what? 3 minus root 2. Do you see? It's always the sign that changes. If you are given a minus root b, the conjugate is a plus root b. I hope you got that. So now we're going to solve examples so that you can get what we have been saying all along, right? 